Welcome everyone. My name is Emily Taylor and I am one of your Power BI trainers here at Pragmatic Works. Today we are going to explore a pretty powerful feature inside of Power BI, hierarchies. Power BI is designed to be highly interactive and clickable, allowing users to drill down into your data and gain deeper insights with just a few clicks. To enhance this clickability and make our reports even more intuitive, we can build something called hierarchies. Now, you've probably heard of a hierarchy before, but you're not really sure what it is inside of Power BI. A hierarchy in Power BI is a way to organize your data into levels, making it easier to navigate and analyze. For example, in a sales report, you might have a hierarchy that starts with the year and then drills down into the quarters, months, and then possibly finally even the day. This structure allows users to start with a high level overview and then click through in your visuals to see more detailed information. In that same sales report, if you wanted to look at your data based off of geography information, we've got another example here for you. Now, why do we use hierarchies? Hierarchies enhance the user experience. Uh, it simplifies navigation, it improves your data exploration, and quite frankly, it enhances your visuals. So let's dive into the Power BI desktop and build our own hierarchy and apply it to some of our visuals for ourselves. Now that we're in the desktop, if you find yourself wanting to follow along, you can pause now and grab your own copy by following the link below. The data in this report is going to cover failed banks across the United States from the years 2000 to 2024. It's the same data set that we use in our Power BI Beginner to Pro video. This video is a fantastic resource if you're wanting to get yourself acquainted with all the phases of report development in Power BI. If this piques your interest, be sure to check that video out after you finish this one. Now, let's go ahead and build our hierarchy. Over here on the right side of our screen, we have our data pane. As you can see here, I don't have a hierarchy built in, but I do have some visuals that have some geographical data. This visual is using state data to analyze the count of banks that have failed based off of the states. This tree map is using the same thing. Every state has a piece of the pie inside of the tree map. The piece of the pie or the piece of the tree map is dependent upon the amount of banks that have failed. And then as you can see here, I have added in a matrix, but without a hierarchy built in, this matrix is a just simply a, a table more or less. So we're gonna build a hierarchy. The way to do that is to hover over the largest piece of the hierarchy that you want to include. In our instance, we're gonna be uh, using geography data. So we've got our state that's gonna be the highest level of granularity. We're gonna go ahead and hover over the word state and you will see this little ellipses pop up on the right hand side. Now, if you're running an older version of Power BI and don't have an ellipses, that's okay. You can just right click or right on top of the word as well and that menu will pop up. And it's just as simple as that. You click on the ellipses and you see a create hierarchy option. Go ahead and get that clicked. And now you should have a hierarchy built in right here underneath the state. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this drop down here to see what is inside of my hierarchy. Now, it is my responsibility to go through and grab the next level of granularity and all of the levels after that. So underneath the state, I want to include the city. So again, I'm gonna hover over the word city until I see that ellipses. Click on the ellipses and now instead of create hierarchy, I want to click on add to hierarchy. The hierarchy we're adding to is the state hierarchy. And then finally, I have one more level of granularity, granularity I want to include. That is the bank name. I wanna know all of the banks that failed inside of those cities. So I'm gonna hover over bank name, click on the ellipses and again, add to hierarchy, state hierarchy. And just like that, I've built my hierarchy. I've got my broadest piece with all of the different pieces that fall under that umbrella. Now, a couple of things to know. Sometimes you might accidentally misplace the order right here. If that happens, it's fairly easy to fix. You're just gonna head on over to model view on the left side of your screen, click on your hierarchy, 
And just like that, in the properties pane, your hierarchy is able to be click and changed. All right, I'm gonna head back to report view. One last thing before I build this hierarchy into my visuals is best practice would be just to rename this hierarchy. Right now I've got state, state hierarchy and state back to back to back just based off of the way that Power BI organizes our data in alphabetical order in the data pane. So I just like to rename my hierarchy to whatever the category is I am using. I'm gonna double click right on top of that title and this time I'm gonna name it geography and I'm gonna call it a geography drill down because that is what a hierarchy is, is it is the opportunity to drill down in to our data and the word drill down can be used interchangeably with the word hierarchy. Now that I've got my hierarchy built, I can actually go in and remove my state information from my matrix visual and I'm gonna go ahead and drop this hierarchy in here and I wanna show, want you to see how different this is. Now, at first you might just be thinking, well, Emily, it's a state with a list of all of the state abbreviations. But now that I have this hierarchy built in, we have these plus signs next to all of our states. Now next to Alabama, I was able to click the plus sign and now I have a drop down list of every single city inside of Alabama that has a failed bank. And because I added that third level of granularity, I actually can click into each of these cities and get a list of what bank failed inside of that city and if there was more than one. Now, this being said, the nice part about creating a hierarchy is anytime you drop that hierarchy into a visual, you also unlock some arrows right up above your visual so that you can drill up and down into your data without having to click on all 50 states and all of the cities within those states. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and use this drill up arrow to scoop all of my Alabama data right back up into the city level and then again right back up into the state level. Now, before I go on with any other visuals, I wanna talk about these other arrows we have up above our matrix visual because we also have three different down arrows that are an option. This one right here is simply a button. This down arrow is going to turn drill mode on. This allows you to drill into things by clicking on them inside of your visual. Super helpful if you are looking at maps, or this tree map right here, or even this bar chart. We'll explore clicking into the data a little bit later. These two buttons over here are the big ones that I wanna talk about. This double down arrow is going to be the drill down all button. So this button drills down to the very next level of the hierarchy for all of the data points simultaneously. I will be honest, uh, for a, uh, matrix visual, this is my least friendly button in my opinion because it doesn't keep the drill down at the state level. It just creates a running list of every single city that has had a failed bank. So as you can see, we've got a list of all of the cities in alphabetical order and I even could drill down to every single bank that has failed across the US since the year 2000. I'm gonna go ahead and click that drill up button because I wanna talk to you about this other drill down option that we have. This one right here is called the expand all down one level button. Uh, this button expands all of the data points in the visual down to the next level of the hierarchy. It's useful if you wanna show the next level of all of your data points simultaneously, but you also want to keep the original level visible. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it and show you what I mean. I personally love this one for the matrix if I'm trying to see all of the data because it is showing all of the states that have had failed banks and then opening up so that we can see what cities failed inside of those states. So super handy and I can click that arrow one more time to drill down into the bank name level as well. I'm gonna go ahead and drill that arrow back up. I'm gonna turn off my drill mode and I'm gonna move on to this visual right here. We've got our count of bank name by state. You can see I've got my state inside of my Y axis. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that 
with my drill down as well in my Y axis. And you might be thinking again, not much different than before, but notice we've got these arrows up here at the top now that we've added this hierarchy. I'm gonna turn on drill mode and then I wanna show you a really cool clickable feature by turning on this drill mode. Let's say I know that Georgia has 93 failed banks, but I really wanna know where all those failures are happening. I am able to now click on Georgia and because my drill down button is on, it is drilling down into all of these cities. So I can see, although Georgia does have 93 field banks, a lot of these cities only have one field bank with Atlanta really taking the cake with 10 field banks for the state of Georgia. So I think they had a pretty big hand in some of those 93 failures. And I can even click down into Atlanta and get a list of every single bank that failed gonna go ahead and drill up as well all the way back to the main page and move on to this visual right over here our tree map I especially love this visual in with a hierarchy built in because a lot of times I like to see the largest banks and the area that they take up inside of my tree map but it's really fun to be able to drill down into those states by turning on drill mode also gonna go ahead and get that out of here and bring in my hierarchy to my categories Again, looking just the same, but I'm gonna turn on drill mode and I'm gonna click on a different state just for fun. Let's drill down into Texas. They have 13 failed banks, but as you can see, we do have some cities that took the lead. It looks like Houston had two failed banks and the remaining cities only had one. I can drill back up, select another state, and as you can see, again, we've got a couple of cities that did take the lead with the majority of them only having one field bank per city. And now just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and add one last visual to this report that we can add a hierarchy to. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a map visual and I'm gonna bring my hierarchy into the location data. And I'm gonna bring that total banks measure into my bubble size just so that I can get bubbles that are dependent upon the number of banks that have failed it. Now, as you can see right here in the map, we've got our top states that have failed banks. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Georgia. But before I do that, I wanna turn on this drill down mode and I wanna show you how clicking on our state because we have our drill down or our hierarchy set up over here in our location data, we are able to add or to see a map of every single city that a bank has failed. Now, I can zoom in a little bit further and see that that bubble size is still dependent on the count of failures. So Atlanta that has 10 failed banks is a little bit bigger than the remaining cities, but I can zoom back out because I have my drill mode on and I have my hierarchy established. I can see where all of those banks failed. So now it has a little bit more depth rather than just knowing Georgia has a lot of those failed banks. Now, I will tell you that because our bank names are not necessarily tied to an address, this would probably be a field you would want to remove because Georgia and uh, Power BI's maps in general do not know how to find those bank names. So it is going to just drop a pin randomly on the city of Atlanta. So I would want to just click the little X right here underneath that drill down to remove the bank name from this drill down menu. But just like that, I am able to keep my drill mode on. I can drill back up and choose another state and still have access to see all of the cities where they're lo located within the state and the bubble size dip is dependent on the number of failed banks. Gonna go ahead and drill back up and get back to my main report. Now, I wanna hear from you. What's the most complex hierarchy that you've ever built or would like to build in Power BI? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any tips or tricks for working with hierarchies, share them with the community. Let's get a conversation going and help each other out. 
And if you want to get any more practice with hierarchies, just join me for our next Power BI Bootcamp. You can get signed up on our website at pragmaticworks.com. Thanks.